morning and welcome back to another vlog today is really exciting and bittersweet yesterday i took hendrix to officially get registered for kindergarten yeah and then i got we got three days you have four days oh you start in four days yesterday was five yes this is five so today's four four yep so you have four days until you start oh last night i was up all night like trying to hurry and order him some school clothes like they're not going to be here in time he can wear a majority of his summer clothes um, you know, I, I really waited last minute with this, but I almost didn't put them in just because of the virus with it, you know, being the Delta version or whatever. I don't know. Everybody has their own opinion about it. I feel like you do what you think is best for your child. You are their parent. You are nobody else's. They were also looking to mandate, um, masks again in elementary schools here. And Hendrick's already having problems with his asthma just on a daily basis between all the fires and the smoke i just i don't know again huge controversy on that whether masks make a difference with asthma or not i was really going back and forth but i decided to put them in and then if they do decide to you know do things like that then we will look at pulling him i also almost didn't put him in because where we are is so temporary that when we do move he will be pulled from that school so it's like i would really hate for him to get comfortable with his teacher and have all these friends and then have to pull him away from that you know i remember doing that a lot as a kid and it was really hard because it's like i had i mean very few friends but the you know friends that i did have i was very sad to leave and you know i just remember having that feeling over and over and i never really wanted that for my kids so i don't know i was like maybe i'll homeschool them for the first little bit of the year and then you know put them in when we move but you know with winter coming and stuff i'm like he's gonna need something to do like i don't want to be trapped in this basement all winter and i'm not gonna make my child do that either so i feel like that would be good for him to get out and have you know that break away from reality in a sense you know not that his life is terrible but just i know i know the situation's hard on him i feel like that little bit of a break will help so today we're gonna go school shopping he only needs like five things for kindergarten um the school he goes to they get grants and so you don't really have to buy school supplies um like the lunches are paid for and stuff I'm kind of worried I'm not going to be able to find him a backpack. I have one picked out on Amazon, but it's not in stock until October. So I'm like, even if I find him just a backpack uh, to get him through until that one arrives, then, uh, you know, he'll be fine. It's a very gloomy day. It's supposed to be like this all weekend. We were going to go to the cabin and it just isn't going to happen because the weather's going to be so crappy. Is that been it? Are you ready to go for a car ride? Should we go bye-bye? Go get a coffee so mama's head doesn't hurt. Tommy is hungry. He says he wants a butter croissant. Your tummy says it wants a butter croissant? Yeah. Okay. Are you ready to go bye bye? That is the wrong foot, baby. Oh. Hey. Do you got it? I need to help. I would love to help you. Pull this out a little bit. You haven't had to do these shoes in a long while. Yeah. Um. Maybe while we're at Target, we'll see if they got any new tennis shoes. These have actually held up a lot better than they thought. I feel like anyways, he's like played the heck out of them, but they've held up really, really well. I told you it was raining. <laughs> oh, it's raining really good. Here, I'll put your head up. There you go. I just spent and rainy today. I told you it was cold and rainy. That drive was a terrible time. I could not get the heater to work. If you remember during the summer, we had no AC. And it's because if I'm hearing this correctly, we're missing a little bolt. And this might not make sense if you don't know anything about cars. But essentially there's a bolt missing. And so we've had to like improvise and put something in that hole and use it as like a switch. Now I can't get that out. So what I'm saying is it was a terrible time because Bennett was crying the whole time. We had no heat and no, it wasn't because he was cold. It was just, I don't know what his issue is to be honest. So I think after here, we're going to stop by dad's work and see if he can't help us fix this. <laughs> I have some happy kids over here. Are you trying to steal my coffee? Baby, your drink is right here. Bennett. Right here, baby. Where's mine? Well, it's for both of you. I'm just going to be sure. Do you need a drink? Oh, did you get too much? There you oh, go. I thought that was my spot. It's okay. Um, but I'm hoping to find the kids some shoes. Bennett only has sandals, so I'd like to find him some like, old tennis shoes or something. 
but I've already found in the little dollar spot this cute little vase. It's only $3, and I think it'd be so cute to put some flowers in and put it in the bathroom. I'm not really seeing any cute shoes for you guys. Hey, mister. PJ Masks and Paw Patrol, <gasps> Paw Patrol shoes? I also see Jurassic Park shoes. Are you gonna see them? Well, maybe they're not quite Jurassic Park, but they have dinosaurs. Whoa, I want those. You want those? Oh, they are Jurassic World. Now for what we really came for. Here's school stuff. I'll let you put stuff in the cart because you're going to need one of these. Need that. It doesn't have anything in there. Yeah. Not yet. When you start school though, you'll put stuff in there. What's it for? It's called a binder. Binder. Put it in the cart. Thank you. They have almost nothing left. Absolutely nothing. That one. Well, you can maybe do this blue one for now. <laughs> do this blue one until I can order the dinosaur one. Should we see if it fits you first? Well, it looks like somebody stepped on it. It's really comfortable. Did you feel that? It's really comfortable. It's like padded. Okay, let's try it on you. Make sure it's not too big. Try their arm through. What do you think? <laughs> Nobody sees my butt. Nobody can see your butt? Yeah, see. Well, I think we could probably adjust it a little bit, but I mean, even if it just gets you through so I can order the dinosaur mama, one that you mama, want. Mama. Like, it's just kindergarten. Like, how much is he really going to need it? Okay, you want to take it off? I don't know how much it is, though. I have a feeling it's going to be, like, costly. This is another blue one back here, but it's $35. This backpack is literally $50. $50 for the most basic blue backpack but I at least got him a little lunch bag got him a little water bottle I just tried calling Kenny at work to see if he'd be able to help me with the heater but I think I got it and I feel pretty freaking cool about it because normally I need his help it's not like super hot but it's warmer than the freezing cold air that it was blowing so Maybe I don't have to drive home with like foggy windows because I like kept having to like rub the windshield and it probably wasn't very safe if I'm being honest. But if I felt that I was getting bad enough, I definitely would have like pulled over and you know called somebody. Decided to stop by storage, which in case you're wondering how that is, this is how much rain we've gotten. Ginormous puddles everywhere. Anyways, I came so that I could get some of our warmer clothes or at least what I can find. So you can see I have like a sweatshirt here. Oh, here's one of my jackets. That would be kind of nice to have. I think I can hear Bennett crying, so love that. Kenny has pants. I think I might want some of my sweats. I definitely want this jacket. It's my all-time favorite. And ooh, yes. This outfit, another favorite. Definitely bringing that. Oh, those are five tees. I wonder if those would still fit him enough to get him through the weekend. And grab those. This box is just gonna, yep, totally fall. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. Kenny at least has hoodies. Um, I don't really foresee us going anywhere this weekend. Lots of car vlogging today, but he needed to stop for a little nursing session, huh? Can you bring your window? Do you see the rain out there? Hi. Hi. Go finish brother's school shopping. He loves to play with the necklace that Kenny got me for my birthday. Uh, I don't want to eat it. I don't want to eat it. What, baby? I'm so excited to go to school. You're so excited to go to school? Mm -hmm. I don't think you could get more comfortable back there with your tablet. <laughs> I promise he hasn't been like that the whole time. He just moved because I was feeding Bennett. Huh. Cause he was just crying and crying. Oh, he's such a sad boy. But he's oh. happy now. Can we see if we can find what else we're looking for? Hopefully they have a little bit better selection than Target did. I'm kind of sad though, because like I said, he only needs like four things. So you don't need like crayons or colored pencils or anything. And for some reason I was like looking forward to buying all that. Oh, yeah, I bet your teacher has lots of it. I think we found what we need, bud. Uh, hey, Bennett. 
Can you wait? What's the difference? Is there a difference? Here, will you put these in the cart? Yeah. And two of those. Put that in there too? Thank you. This is where I'm really confused because it says one pencil box. So is it like meaning this actual pencil box or are they wanting like a crayon box? I guess that'd be this, right? I don't know, that just doesn't really make sense to me. Hendrix, what yeah. color do you want, bud? You were shaking it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. This is a pencil box, so you can put all your pencils in there, but what color would you like? There's blue, mm -hmm. green, or orange. You want orange? Yeah. Okay, let me grab you one, because I think the snap is broken on that, so we'll grab one from back here. Here. Yeah, I like the snap on that. Okay, you want to put that one down? I think the snap's broken on that, if you want to put that down. You want to put that in the cart? Yeah. All right, I think that was the last that they need. Did you see that they had more of that goo? This one's all shimmery. I want that one. Or there's this one that's blueberry cloud. I want blueberry cloud. Did you drop it? You ready? <gasps> and get both of you. No, I'm the shark too. You're the shark too? <laughs> I think that was all we needed for your school stuff. Are you dancing? Oh, he's gonna get me. I'm dancing, you like this song? Maybe we'll grab this. Add it to your little snacks. It is 3.30 and I realized we really haven't eaten today. So, stop by McDonald's to grab a fry. That's what Hendrix wanted, just fries. We won't eat the chicken nuggets. So I got them a fry to share, oh, yeah, a fry. Can you need to give one to Bennett? Thank you. I was like, I'm so hungry that I have the shakes and like I can't think clearly, so uh, we should probably eat. I believe Kenny said that he might be, like they might be moving the shop today, so um, like moving their tools over to their new shop, if that makes sense. So it could be a late night for him, yeah, I'm not really sure. Time. Plus I have to go pick up like the nebulizer and stuff for Hendrix because he's been having issues with his asthma. I made an appointment for Hendrix to get like a prescription for an inhaler and an nebulizer, but they couldn't get us in for like a week. So that appointment's on Monday after he gets out of school. The lighting is absolutely awful between this big yellow light and it still being so cloudy and gloomy. The backpack that I was looking at or really could only find was $49 and I was not about to pay. $50 for a backpack I didn't even like. It was just plain blue. It was a little big for him. It was more or less for like laptops and like probably look like college students, but that was like the only one I saw in the backpack section or school section that like looked not super tacky, I guess. Maybe I'll get it, check other stores, see if I find something cheaper, better, you know, all the things because I have them picked out. It just isn't gonna ship until October. So for now, I at least found this and this was like actually in like the boys clothing section. And it's just a little backpack. It's the perfect size for him. It just has sharks. Um, he's not really into sharks. He prefers dinosaurs, but it was like all they had. And $18 seemed a little more reasonable than $50 for a kindergartner, you know? Like I love my child, don't get me wrong, but I made sure that all of his stuff would fit in here. So it has like a little zipper. Um, he can put stuff there. It's got another little pocket here you can put stuff in. And it's got like the main zipper. This is the Fulton Bag Co. And the inside just zips and then you can take this out. Oh, that's what I meant to do. This is what I meant to do. So you can take this out and then in here is insulated. So you can put this little divider in there and make it however you want. I felt like it was still like the perfect size to fit like a sandwich and then like his snacks or drink or whatever. The pickiest eater. Like I'm actually going to mention it to his pediatrician because the only thing I can get him to eat aside from like snacks and stuff is um, or like breakfast foods is peanut butter and jelly. Like lunch, dinner, forget about it. I can't get him to eat anything. I've even tried sending him to bed hungry and like he just has no problem with it. I'm going to mention it to his pediatrician. He has an appointment on Monday. Um, so I have a feeling it's going to be kind of a lengthy um, appointment. I think this was like $14. This was $16, which I feel like a water bottle being more expensive than this was a little, again, ridiculous. But 
I knew that he was gonna want a water bottle. The um, water fountains there are closed off, um, obviously for the virus. He just pushes this, flips, he drinks out of it, and then it fits perfectly right over here. Kind of random, but I knew that he was gonna need some warmer pajamas, um, so I just picked these up. They might be a little bit big, but he needed a little half inch binder some more vitamins they were buy one get one 25 percent off so i got hendrix's and then mine the trains always somehow they get in there the two things of hand sanitizer to put in hendrix's backpack i figured i'd put one in there and hang on to the other one on his school list it asked for like a pencil box so i don't know if it's like literally meaning a pencil box just for pencils or if it's meaning like the crayon box but i feel like if it said that it would mean the crayon box so Figured I would send this if he needs something else. I'm sure the teacher will like notify me or something. And then he also needed 50 of these sheet protectors. So I grabbed two of those because they're 25 each. This is where I'm going to need all of your guys' not necessarily input. Um, what am I looking for? Advice? Is that like the same thing um, as to, you know, packing lunches and stuff? What do you pack for your kids? I don't want to do like a ton of prepackaged stuff. You know, I'm obviously going to send, you know, fresh fruits and like homemade things, but I also wanted to make sure that I had things that he liked and that was easy accessible for him because, you know, I, I don't know how much help he's going to have, you know, at lunch or if they have snacks or, you know, I have no idea how that's going to go. No idea. Um, so I wanted to get things that I knew that he could do himself. Starting out, it might be a lot of like kind of prepackaged stuff until I get a feel for it and, you know, kind of know how it works. But um, both boys love these, so I just grabbed a pack of each. They were on sale for like $5.99, so this is apple cinnamon. This one comes with apple banana, apple strawberry, and then just apple. So just little applesauce pouches. I grabbed two of these because even Kenny will devour these. They're just like little individual packs of these Cheeto puffs. I know nuts can be kind of iffy, so I'm gonna wait it out on this one. And I figure if he can't, then it's something we'll still all eat. I can send it in Kenny's lunches or something, but they're just little trail mix packs. Hey Hendrix, here's your little uh, dinosaur. I'm gonna open it. I've been missing my oatmeal bowls. I used to make them all the time when we lived in our apartment. And then I feel like my eating habits have changed a lot. I feel like you can't even hear me. But I feel like my eating habits have changed a lot because like we don't have the refrigerator space or pantry space. It's bumpy. It is bumpy. You have two now, huh? Yeah. So I feel like we're kind of eating a little worse than we were before and i just miss eating healthy and feeling good you know so i grabbed stuff to do my little oatmeal bowls again and of course he needed like a little treat well he didn't need it but you know just those little fun things to have so i have fruit snacks he wanted fruit roll-ups um i grabbed this it has mini oreos nutter butters chipotle cookies and then i grabbed the same thing but they're just cheese it so yes, a lot of prepackaged stuff, but like I said, I want to kind of get a feel for it. And then once we get into a little bit more of a routine and I figure out what's easy for him, what he likes, like I can kind of switch things out from there. So um, I also found this glass vase. I think I already showed you guys in the little bullseye section. It was $3. They also have it in just like a clear version, which I almost grabbed so I could do like that. Um, baking soda with paint trick you like mix a little baking soda with paint and then it gives it just like this really pretty like texture to it I almost thought about doing that because it would have been like a super inexpensive project maybe I'll go back and get it I don't know I just thought this would be really pretty with for fall I want to get that wheatgrass Target only had one left so I might have to like go to Hobby Lobby or something well, I don't know why I didn't think about that I always forget about that place I just can't even believe that like the time is here like this is my last weekend part of me like is almost like maybe you should keep him in a kindergarten because he is gonna have so many years of school to do why are we so quick to send them off you know it just sucks that like that's the normal thing to do but that's just me I love my kids I'm not ready to let them go I'm not ready for them to get all big on me but I know that's what happens now I think I'm gonna get this stuff kind of put away I honestly don't even know where I'm gonna put it because we don't have pantry space or anything of that sort. Um, so that should be a good time. But I at least want to get this kind of cleaned up before Kenny gets home so it's not just like completely disastrous.